And welcome aboard. It's Molesburg panel time. It's Molesburg panel time. Joining us right now uh, on said panel is Dr. Tom Borelli, Ph.D., contributor to Conservative Review, and Adam Thompson, senior partner at the law offices of Adam M. Thompson, and also uh, he is a syndicated talk show host. Gentlemen, welcome. All right, let's start with this, this uh, nonsense. You know, we all heard Barack Obama ask the question, are you going to nom nominate a moderate to the Supreme Court? And he said, huh, where'd you get that from? Uh, and now all of a sudden the networks are going crazy because Obama somehow floated this trial balloon, or the administration did, that he's vetting the uh, governor of Nevada, uh, Brian Sandoval, uh, who's a Republican, uh, Adam, and, and now we're all supposed to think, oh, he's going to nominate a Republican, a white male Republican, when hell freezes over. Well, you know what's interesting? It's like almost doing a little Jedi mind trick. He could be floating the name of a moderate or Republican just to see if the initial pushback from everyone in Congress is, oh, if he nominates him, that's not a bad idea. Maybe we will then vote on it and we'll see where it goes. So then he could turn around to say, oh, so if it's someone that you think is okay, then it's okay for me to make a nomination. But if it's someone that you don't like, then you're going to block me and filibuster until I leave office and try to expose the Republicans and the conservatives as really, you know, blocking how the whole process should really function. So at this point, I wouldn't hold my breath. I heard it may even be Loretta Lynch that she right. may get her from attorney general into the, you know, Supreme Court as a nominee. Tom? Yeah, I, I agree with Adam. I, this is nothing more than a trap. I think he's pulling out his inner Donald Trump trying to manipulate the media. Look, President Obama is fundamentally transforming America. There's no way he's going to try to uh, nominate a Republican. He's going to go far left and then pull the race card and say, they're not going to nominate him because I'm a black president. Yeah, I, I, I could not agree more. I mean, this, is, uh, this whole thing is ridiculous, and it's going to be a black woman or a minority woman, and he's going to give ammunition to the Democrats to run on as well. But, and also, he might, he might attempt uh, you know, this recess appointment in January, so they're going to have to stay in session somehow because he can't right. be trusted, I don't believe. <laughs> Do you think? It, it, could be, it could be more so, more so. So this way, Clarence Thomas has another person that won't speak on the bench. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, speaking of Loretta Lynch, she claims that there's going to be an independent, not a, not a special prosecutor, but an independent and fair and unbiased investigation into Hillary. Yesterday, a court, federal court, ruled that uh, Judicial Watch has the right to uh, subpoena um, and, and depose people like Cheryl Mills and, um, and, and, and Kennedy and Uma Abedin and possibly even, according to Tom Fitton, who was on with us yesterday, uh, Hillary Clinton in this email fiasco. Uh, Adam, how, how big a decision was that by the judge? It's huge because now that the floodgates have been open and for discovery purposes, he's going to allow them to depose certain people that were involved in this very close to Hillary Clinton. Once they get them down in the chair under oath and start questioning them, they get direct so many different questions that attack Hillary Clinton either directly or backdooring it, however they want to go about it, that will involve her in this, that after so many different witnesses testify, not only will damaging information come out, but so many different responses will involve Hillary Clinton that they're going to have to make Hillary Clinton then come and also give a deposition because it would make no sense otherwise. Yeah, and, so this is big. And Tom, you know, my, my worry is this all has to be done before the election because God forbid, and I don't think she could win, but if Hillary Clinton were to win, first thing she does is she pardons everybody involved. <laughs> Yeah, do you think that? And the media would go along with that Absolutely. as well. Absolutely, right, right. it's a witch hunt. Right. I would. I don't put much trust in, in Loretta Lynch. You know, whether wherever she does, it could be in 2020. <laughs> I, I don't think that's soon to happen. But with the judge, I think that that's a very interesting opportunity. And most important here is the process. As I understand it, the State Department has their own email system, so somebody had to transpose those emails into Hillary's secret emails in her in her private server. Now, who did that? That's a very hard question to avoid. Yeah, absolutely. All right. Very briefly, we saw the uh, uh, Nevada caucuses yesterday, Donald Trump. I mean, the fact that, uh, Adam, that he won with every demographic and that he had, if you add uh, uh, the next two finishers, Rubio and Cruz together, he, he beat their point total. The percentage total. I mean, it appears that there's going to be no state one with evangelicals, with Hispanics, with women, with educated, non-educated, as he said. There's no stopping him. Hey, listen, I said on my radio show he was going to win the bottom by double digits and that the 
The second and third place finishes combined wouldn't equal his grand total, and that's what happened. What people are really missing in this whole Trump explosion is people that normally don't turn out and vote at these Republican primaries. They are. They're coming out. Yeah. By the way, Adam, if you know who's gonna, if you know who's going to win the uh, sixth race at Belmont, let me know. Wait, with the final <laughs> word. The D horse. Yeah, yeah, Better well, bet now. But, well, look, he's also getting you know kind of look at, look across all the states ge geographically. I mean, he did very well in Iowa, but didn't win. He did great in New Hampshire, and now out in Nevada. I mean. That's basically a mix of the whole country. Yeah. So, you know, look out establishment. Yeah, nobody wins South Carolina, New Hampshire, Nevada, and right. then, you know, and then loses unless there's something really big. Guys, thank you very much, Tom Borelli and Adam Thompson. And uh, we are coming back, ladies and gentlemen. Don't go away.